So this is the floor is made of jelly. It's a platformer where the floor is made of jelly. I would call it Jello, but that's trademarked. So just pretend I didn't say that. Let's see if I can create that jump again. And it's very interesting because it's super fun to bounce around on this uh, jelly floor, but it's also got different uh, mechanics as you go along through the levels, and I'll see if I can show you some of those. But it's a pretty straightforward, fun platformer. It's got music by Disaster Piece, and uh, the art is fantastically uh, simple. Oh my god, I can't do this. So I can also go backwards through the levels like this. There's no level select or anything, you just go through the levels. So here's one of the other mechanics that's in the game. There are these uh, spinny little things. If you hit them, it, it kind of rotates the entire world. And I can go backwards to the next level here. You'll see this uh, other level design, but I'll see if I can go forward. So the game actually does get surprisingly difficult. I went down to where the exit is, and I rotated the world, and now I have to come back up here to, oh damn it, I have to rotate the world again. So, let's see, and if you, if you didn't know, when I posted the trailer, some people didn't quite pick up on this, but the game is all about timing your jumps, so it's not just like you have a very bouncy jump. Uh, if you jump and time it, it's like you're on a trampoline, so you can go really high, but if you time it wrong, then you'll kind of cancel out your, your momentum there. And that actually gets used in some of the puzzles too, because if you jump down high enough, that floor kind of just disappears and you can kind of go through it. Um, but it's... I don't know if I can recreate that here. Oh my god, that was awesome! So, yeah, that's... the floor is jelly, it's kind of cool. So the floor is jelly, it's super fun, it is out now. You should check it out, definitely. There's one unlocked drawer. D. No. D. R. A. Ah. A. W. E. R. Enter.